that you want him to do for you before this service will close. We are serving a living God that answers prayers. Can you believe him to an extent that you believe that that thing you open your mouth to ask him now, he will do it for you. You will return back to this altar and testify of it. Jesus asked blind Bartimaeus, what do you want me to do for you? He said, I want to see. He was very specific. I charge you before God now. Be very specific. Mention it. Kabata to satatabasha. To he that believes, all things are possible. With him, all things are possible. Lift your voice. Tell God those specific things. Be very specific. So that when he when he do, he does it, you will come back and specifically say, this day. As I was commanded to ask specifically, I asked and God answered. I give you a few minutes to say that prayer. Let's go. Make sure you open your mouth. Power of the Holy Ghost. Person to person. Holy Ghost. That sickness is going now. It's going now. He's going now. La paka pusa. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Masha pala malendo robo Jesus. Yes. Can you say it now? He's here to do it again. He's here to do it again. Jesus, my father. Thank you, divine majesty. You are here. You are doing it in your own way. You are doing it in your own way. If you can pray in the Holy Ghost, pray in the Holy Ghost. If you can pray in the Holy Ghost, pray in the Holy Ghost. Shaka pakata bakata, rapa kata bakata bakata ba, lepra kata bakato bo shaka bakata, kapa kata bakato shaka ta, rapa kata bakado shaka da bakada, lepra kata bakata bakata bakata, shaka bakata 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 bakata, rapa bakato shaka ta bakata bakata bakata, rapa kata kata. Something is happening here. Hey. Batu Shapa, His power is flowing from this altar. Karabakata. God is opening new chapters here. God is opening new chapters. Somebody's entering the new day. Somebody's entering the new day. He's a new dimension. He's a new dimension for you. Jesus, 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 Jesus. He's a new strength. There is fresh oil. There is fresh oil in the house. There is fresh oil in the house. There is fresh oil in the house. The angels of God are going around here. They are dropping it in your hands. Hey, hey. Makata Sakata. I see a divine hand rubbing us with fresh oil. Fresh oil. Oil of power. Fresh oil. Oil of healing. Oil of prosperity. Oil of lifting. Oil of expansion. Oil of wisdom. 
understanding. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Father, we worship you. We return our glory for what you have done. Yes, Lord. Ebenezer. 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 Master of love. Holy Ramadan. Ah, Jesus. Master of Let's go. Let's go. Holy Ramadan. I say, Ebenezer. Ebenezer. Can you rejoice? The Lord has given you victory. I say, oh, no. Holy Ramadan. Aya, aya. My soul is not bad. Holy Ramadan. When I call, you answer me. As he has answered you now, you lift me up. My soul is not bad. Holy Ramadan. My soul is not bad. Holy Ramadan. I say, when I call his name, he answer me. When I follow, you lift me up. Somebody let's go. We'll give you worship. I say, Ebenezer. Ebenezer, walk on my leg. What you want to let me go? I saw that. Only you are my help. Yeah, my soul. Only you are my help. Come on now. With your hand for Jesus. Can you give him a dance offering for what he has done? Can you give him a dance offering for what he has done? Mandala ma shabala gada ba gada ba gada ba gada ba gada ba. Ibrolos ki amanda ne moshi gada ba kosi alaba ba ba. Hey, hey, Jesus, thank you, Lord. When I call his name, he shall answer me. When I follow, you lift me up. Oh, my soul of help, only you are my help. I saw my soul of help, only you are my help. Such a desire, a desire, a desire, a desire. I saw my soul of help, only you are my help. I saw my soul of help, only you are my help. Jesus, I don't I Hallelujah! <laughs> Put your hands together for the Lord. Celebrate, celebrate God in the house. Glory to Jesus. Do I have a witness in the house that the Lord is doing great things? Do I have a witness in the house? Can I hear you give God a shout of praise? Are you sitting down doing it? Rise on your feet and give God a shout of praise. 
is a new dawn for you today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ and let the church shout amen like thunder let's appreciate our father our great father I said let's appreciate our father daddy thank you for the opportunity to be a blessing to the church I appreciate sir I'm not taking it for granted. Praise the Lord. If you know what it means to stand before your father to minister. So I'm not standing alone. His grace is backing me. If you want to clap, clap. I also want to celebrate our mama. Though she's not here, I know she's here with us in the spirit. Let's celebrate our mama. Praise God. Briefly, I have a message for someone here. Can we do it together? Tell your neighbor that there is still a space for you. <laughs> you will understand what I mean. Praise the Lord. Tell your neighbor that it does not matter the years. It does not matter your age. There is still a space for you to make a difference in your lifetime. Say amen to that. Hear me. It does not matter the mistakes you have made, though. Am I communicating? As long as you are still having breath of life, there is still a space for you to correct the mistake you have made. You can still become better than whom you are today. Am I talking to someone? So I, I just want you to see yourself as a new person. Forget about the past. You are going somewhere. So I want to speak briefly, preparing yourself to make a difference. What did I say? Can you say it back to me? <laughs> One thing I have found out in life, just like the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 9 verse 11 said, it said, there is one thing I have seen on this earth. Media, you can flash it fast for us. It said, the race is not to the swift, nor the battle to the strong. Which means, Life is not all about how smart you are to make it in life. He said, the battle, nor the battle to the strong, nor bread to the wise, nor riches to men of understanding, nor favor to men of skill. Are you understanding it? He's telling you that it does not take all these things Life is not all about these things for you to stand out in life. But it says what? But time and chance happen to them all. Do you know what it means? That time and chance, that time speaks of the lifetime that you still have living on this earth. Praise the Lord. And the chance there speaks of opportunities. So in life, as long as you still have life, that is time. There will always be an opportunity for you. Praise the Lord. There, is, there will always be an opportunity for you to excel. There will always be an opportunity for you to prosper. And I tell you, it does not matter the experience you have gone through. There is still an opportunity for you to excel. If you believe, I say better, amen. amen. That is why it says in verse 4, in that Ecclesiastes chapter 9, he said, as long as you are still joined to the living, there is what? Hope for you. Somebody touched yourself and said, there is still hope for me. And he said, for a living dog, 
is what? Better than a dead lion. There is no place you compare a dog with a lion. Lion is far stronger than a dog. But the Bible says, as long as the dog is still what? Alive. He is better and stronger than what? A dead lion. Because anything that is dead is what? Is dead. I am speaking to someone today that is not yet dead. You are still alive. Ah, come on. Who am I talking to? I say you are not yet dead. Thank God that they didn't succeed to put you to dead. Thank God that you are still alive. You went through all you went through. And yet you are still here. Somebody say I'm still here. And because you are still here, hear me and hear the word of God. Shapakato Sabahata. There is still hope for you. Stand on your feet and shout out Amen like thunder. Marie Katuskia. That is why one of the things that you must be grateful to God is that he has still, he still gave you the grace to do what? To live. My brother, my sister, that's why I'm saying that you still have a space. You still have a space. There is still a space for you. Alamasha, to put down your own record. This generation will still hear about you. Can I tell you something? It's not about age. Abraham was called at the age of 75 years. That was when he started his work with who? With God. 75 years. You are still 40. You are still 50. And you are behaving like there is no more hope. Can I tell you something? There is still hope for you. If Abraham can do exploit and touch his generation, answer the call of God, and do exploit and become a father of faith, at your age, you can still make a difference. You are still young. You are still young. Am I talk Is God talking to someone here? You can still make a difference. In in, in 2 Chronicles chapter 26 verse 5 from verse 1 we saw a man that started very young that was Uzziah at the age of what? 16 he became what? a king his own story started he started making a difference in his time but the other place Genesis 12 we saw Abraham at 75 now that is why whether you are small or you are old, there is still space for you to make a difference. There is something that our people used to say. They said, when you wake up, that is your own word. <laughs> you are waking up today. Are you hearing me? I say you are waking up today. I want you to put your past at your back. Forget about what they have said. Forget about the labor they have given to you. You are the one that will make them through prophets or prophetess. In case they have said you will not make it. You are the one that has a final say to agree with them. You can still resist that prophecy and tell yourself I will do what? I will make it. And that is the word of God I have come to deliver to someone here. There is still a space for you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And because there is still a space for you. You must make a record. You will break a record. You are not hearing me. I say you will break a record. I want your amen to come. Come up, come up, come up. If you are connected. I say you will still break a record. Life is turn by turn. When it comes to your turn, you will shine. If God has lifted another man, he is to tell you that God is in the neighborhood. He is moving from one room, apartment, to another. For the fact he has done it to another man, believe that your own turn is coming. That is why there is no room for envy. Can I prophesy to someone? Your own turn is coming. 
Your own turn is coming. Your own turn is coming. And you must shine. Can you rise up and shout, I must shine? Something is happening here. You better get connected. These are spiritual things. Carry your own. Praise the Lord. You are living here as a different person. Your business can still increase. You can still own a business. You can still own a company. Daniel, I hope you are there. Let's go to the book of Daniel chapter 1. Baho Salia Bahata. I want us to read from verse 3. Preparing yourself to make a difference. All right, let's read now. Then the king instructed Athpenas, the master of his eunuchs, to bring some of the children of Israel and some of the king's descendants, some of the nobles, verse 4, young men in whom there were no blemish, but good looking, gifted in all wisdom, possessing knowledge, and quick to understand, who had ability to do what? To serve in the king's palace. And whom they might teach the language and literature of the Chaldeans. Now hold it there. The king of Babylon was looking for men that work with him. Just like a president. Newly inaugurated. Forming his cabinet. People that work with him. And make things to work out. It was the same thing here. Nebuchadnezzar was looking for young people that worked for him. Look at what he said. He sent out his uh, servant and said, Go and look for men in whom there was no what? Blemish. It means men that has no record of crime. Name that, men that has good name. Men that have not spoiled their name. He said, but good looking. There must be good what? Looking. They must be gifted in all wisdom. They must possess knowledge and quick to understand who had ability to serve in the king's palace. And also another thing, he said, they must be teachable. People that can be taught the language and literature of the Chaldeans. Now look at me, look up. In this life, people does not look for people that has nothing to offer. Are you with me? Look up, look up, look up. It's now to talk to you. The king was looking for people. Looking for men to serve, to work with. He gave condition. Don't go and look for ordinary people. Not anyhow people. He said, number one, they must be free from blame. They must carry good record. That is why, if you must make a difference in your generation, you must make sure that you have what? Good record. Good reputation. You must go for excellence. You must go for good reports. You must make sure that you live your life in such a way that there is no fault. There is no blame around you. You must live a straightforward life. You must make sure that you have a good name. The Bible says a man with a good name is stronger than a man that goes into a city and conquers the city. Now, to tell you how strong a good name is. Today, I charge you, even if you have made a mistake, starting from today, build a good name. 
Can I tell you? Are you hearing me? I say, go for good name. Help me tell your neighbor. Touch your neighbor. Say, hear the word of God. Go for a good name. Talk to the other person the other side. Say, hear the word of God. Today, if you must make a difference, go for a good name. Now, that is why you see some company, they don't want anything that will rubbish their brand. They build their brand name and make sure that nothing damages it. Nothing pollutes it. Because they know that good name is what to open door for them. That good name is what people will look for. Praise the Lord. In your business, in your ministry, in whatever you see yourself doing in life, go for what? Good name. Anything that will pollute your name, withdraw yourself from it. Because tomorrow, your own chance might come. Today, tomorrow, your own opportunity must come. Because in life, it's based on chance and what? And time. Tomorrow, your own chance might come. When the chance will come, I pray, may bad name never close the door for you. Yeah. Say, oh Lord, my father, deliver me from bad name. In the name of Jesus, every part I am walking in, that will give me a negative label. Today, oh Lord, deliver me. Can you pray that prayer a few seconds? Shaka bakato baragada da bakata baragada. In different ways. You have tasted of your power. Sabara balege do do bosha. Alabaro shaba ba 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 ba. You are a great. Ibrala kama do broko to masaka ba 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 ba. In different ways. Kabara bakata balaga do sabara ba ba. Kuria bakata baraba Lupra kasaka bakata You are a great God Give up back that scripture He says Good looking Men that are good looking Men that are presentable That is why in life The way you package yourself Will determine how you will be addressed Am I communicating? Yes, you must package yourself well. Package what you are doing very well. It's just like you have a girl that takes pleasure to go to club and she wants to settle down. Whom do you think? What kind of man do you think that she will settle down with? A club man. That is why you can see a lady that dresses like a harlot can be going along the road and Abodo will begin to embarrass her and call her attention. Do you know why? Because how she dresses is attracting their what? Their attention. <laughs> that is why people that do business, our evangelist is here. You can approach people you can't go into office to tender your proposal or whatever, dressing anyhow. Do you know that there are some people that will go as far as borrowing, hiring a good car to go for contracts? Do you know why they do it? They are packaging themselves so that the people can trust them. Because no rich man will want to entrust his wealth into a poor man. A poor man's hand. Because in the first place, his mindset is that he will carry his money and do what? No be so. So that is why they will package themselves well so that when they go in, how they package themselves can make a way for you. Ladies and gentlemen, do you know how you package your life can take you to the top? And that is why I charge you today May you package yourself well. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Remember I told you, there is still a space for you. Give up back that scripture. It says, gifted in all wisdom. 
Tell your neighbor, go for wisdom. Two things there. Possessing what? Knowledge. If you don't have anything upstairs, people will not want you. They will not look for you. <laughs> Are you hearing me? People will look for you because you have something what? To offer. If you are empty, no, no wise man, no great man, no big man will want a man that has nothing to offer. If you are a liability, they will distance from you. That is why a big man does not listen to stories. He gave you assignment. Put money in your hand and send you. Go and get something. Go and get result. And you are coming back with what? With result. They don't hear story. What they want to see is what? Shout result. In this life, you must give result. You didn't say better, amen. amen. I pray that God will empower your life with positive result. Amen. Shout that amen like thunder. Amen. So anything it will take you to go for knowledge, go for wisdom, to package yourself well. Do what? Do it. Let me tell you, there is a kind of a wife you package yourself for your husband. That man will never want to miss you, even in a single day. Why else are you hearing me? Yes. Even if he's doing shakara, there is something that came up in his heart. He wants you around him because you have something to offer to him. You have something that gives him peace. You have something that makes him happy. You have something that he cannot afford to miss. There is a way you will package yourself as a young woman who is not yet married. A man will set eye on you and will vow, if he doesn't marry you, nobody else. That is why they say, good character is a beauty of a woman. Have you ever read in your Bible? He said, your beauty should not all about be outward appearance. But the inner spirit of a virtuous woman. That is where beauty comes from. If you are in a place or if you are in a home, you are planning to go and the person is praying for you to do what? To go. Do you know what it means? <laughs> it means you are not offering what? Value. The person is even praying that you do what? You go. But if you have something that makes him to do without you, you are talking about living. He said he is opposing it because he still wants you what? Around. Whether in institution, whether in the ministry, wherever you found yourself, if you don't have anything to offer, let me tell you, when you leave, nobody will even feel your absence. They are members in a church that pastor will never afford to miss. Even if anything happens, he will organize committee that will go and look for the man or the woman. Yes, I'm telling you, these are pastor secrets. Yes. Do you know why? Because that person has what? Value to offer. If the person gives space in the ministry, the man of God will do what? Will feel it. But there are people that if they leave, he will not feel it. In fact, he may come out in the public and behave that he's touching him. But when he goes inside, his tantrum, tantrum, he will say, Lord, thank you for taking away this load from me. May you never be a liability. See the way you are shouting them and shout them in like thunder. Akaba, kataba, kataba. It all determines on what you carry to do what? To offer. 
Jesus. Can you give us back that scripture? Is somebody getting blessed? Glory to Jesus. Can I talk to you? See, the value you carry determines the attention people will give you in life. Are you hearing me? Yes. It's just like our dad in the Lord. You can't be a man of the spirit and come close to him and you will afford to lose him. That is why people like us, we came in contact with him. We stick that no man can break it. Am I communicating? <laughs> oh, you're laughing. Even you cannot break it. Holy Ghost have bonded it what? Together. There are people that you see because of the value they carry. You can't afford to leave them. Because they are instrument of what? Blessing. Of course, if you don't know, I came into divine majesty through invitation. Men, we are doing what? Program. They invited my ogre. <laughs> my ogre called me and said, go and represent me. I came. That was Idimu. I still have the video. And when we came, my father, who I will never miss in this life, immediately he saw me. He loved me, embraced me, brought me like his own son. He does not care whether I am in another ministry. He has come to our church, dedicated the altar, took wine, I'm sorry, took communion. He said to me, he doesn't do it in any way. But because he loves me and trusts me and I'm God sent to him, he took communion in our church at the altar. He has not come once, he has not come twice. That's to show you the love. That's to show you the bonding. Am I communicating? Say a positive amen. I pray for you. May you never be a man that is empty. May you never be a woman that is empty. Can I hear you shout them and like thunder? If you work in an institution in office, let me tell you, if you have value you offer there, they can do anything to retain you. Praise the Lord. Because they can't afford to do what? To miss you. What am I telling you? Tell your neighbor, package yourself. For you to be valuable and relevant, huh? you must have what? Value to offer. When the king said, look for this man, man of good reputation, man that has knowledge, man that can teach, man, he was not looking for ordinary people. He was not looking for ordinary people. Now, Daniel, if you read down that scripture, that was where Daniel and his brothers were found. So, one, another thing that will make you make a difference in your generation is that you must discover yourself. Discover whom you are. What you carry. What direction you are to follow in life. Look at Daniel chapter 1. Verse 8. Can we read that scripture? I'm, I'm trying to outline ways you can prepare yourself to make a difference in your generation. Another one is discover yourself. Discover whom you are. Discover what you carry. Discover the direction you are going in life. But Daniel proposed in his heart that he will not defy himself with the portion of the king's delicacies, nor with the wine which he drank. Therefore, he requested of the chief of the eunuchs that he might not defy himself. Daniel did this thing because 
he knew whom he was. When the king has declared, everybody will eat the food sacrificed to his idol. The Bible said Daniel proposed in his heart that he will not eat that food. Because he knew he has a covenant of Jehovah and he doesn't want anything that will pollute that word, that covenant. Why you still behave the way you behave? He because you don't know whom you are. You don't know what you carry. You don't know the direction you are going. When you understand whom you are, what you carry, and the direction God wants you to go, stick to it. Build yourself in it. Stand on it. Because it's that part that will take you to the top. If you hear me say, I hear. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Another thing is, determine to distinguish yourself. Daniel chapter 6. Let's read from verse 1. Daniel chapter 6 from verse 1. Determine to distinguish yourself. I am running because of time. Let's read it. It pleased Dairos to set over the kingdom 120 satraps to be over the whole kingdom. Verse 2. Let's run it, run it down. And over these three governors, of whom Daniel was one, that the satraps might give account to them, so that the king will suffer no what? Loss. All right. Okay, let me read from this side. Then this Daniel distinguished himself above the governors and satraps because an excellent spirit was in him and the king gave thought to setting him over the whole realm look at verse 4 so the governors they became envious and the satraps sought to find some charge against who daniel concerning the kingdom watch this but they could find no charge of fault. Hey. Because he was what? Faithful. Nor was there any error or fault found in him. You see what we are talking about? They, because they, they, they were not happy that Daniel was promoted above them. So all those people, those citizens, indigents, their mind was this stranger coming here to become our organ. It can't happen. They began to look for a way to indict Daniel. The Bible said they looked around, but they could not find fault. I pray for you. Even when the enemies look around to look for a legal ground to attack you, may they not find any ground to attack you. Why so many of us are going through what we are going through today? It's because the enemy has too many legal ground to throw arrow. The Bible says he is the accuser of the brethren. He is looking for an opportunity to attack you. Looking for a legal ground to tell God that you don't deserve this blessing. You don't deserve this breakthrough. Things that happen in the Bible opens our eyes for you to know this earth we are living is mysterious. Do you know God was having meeting with angels, sons of God. He called them for a meeting. In Job, the Bible says Satan came. He invited himself. He said, God, you are seeing my organ. Since you refuse to invite me, I come. And myself. <laughs> Till tomorrow. He came uninvited. And what shocked me there is that God gave him what? Attention. When God saw him, God suspended all that meeting and began to discuss with the devil. You know what he asked him? He said, uh, come here, my fallen servant. Oh, yeah? 
Have you ever seen on earth that nobody like who? My Job. He is faithful. Nothing. He's a good man. Have you seen? Have you discovered? Because God has already cast him down to the earth. So Satan sees what happens on the earth. He said, have you discovered? Have you seen? He began to talk with God. That why this man is faithful serving you is because you have done what? You are blessing. All around him, blessing. Everywhere, blessing. Prosperous. Try and remove this blessing and see whether this man will not deny you. And God said, okay, I heard what you said. Do you know that God listened to Satan? He said, okay, now I release you. Go and attack his blessing. Go and take it all. Go, but one thing is that you will not touch his soul. You will not kill him. So do you know that sometimes some decision can be taken in the realm of the spirit without your notice? Ah, you don't know. Agreement was entered on the head of Job without Job knowing the servant of God. He didn't know that principalities has taken what? Decision. And Satan came down and began to scatter everything that Job had. Even to the point of killing his children. But thank God that man, that man did not do what? Compromise. To the point that even the wife who was supposed to encourage him was now telling him, cause God, forget about these things. Friends told him that it's your sin that have caused these things. The man refused to give up. He said, I will wait for my change. For my change will do what? Will come. Even though he tried me, as I'm talking to you, you might be under trial now. But hear me. God will always make a way of escape for you. You will not be consumed in that trial. You will come out of it victoriously. In the name of Jesus. Thank God at the end. The Bible says God gave back Job. Three times more than what he had. Praise the Lord. Say a positive amen. Amen. I charge you today, decide to distinguish yourself. The Bible says, excellent spirit was found in who? In Daniel. Even when they ganged up against him, they could not find any fault. I pray that the devil will not find any fault in your life. Stop living a life of compromise. You are opening the door for the devil to attack. Some of us are suffering what our hands has caused us. You keep hearing the word of God to depart from the evil ways. Forsake the wicked ways. Forsake living a compromised life. And you harden your heart. You keep opening. You don't know when you are doing it. You are opening what? Door for the devil to attack your life and attack what you have. The Bible says when a hedge is broken, the serpent will do what? He will bite. I pray. May God deliver you from every bite of the serpent. Shout amen like thunder. Paul said in 1 Corinthians 9 27, he said, One thing I do, I subject my body, I put it under subjection, I discipline my body, I make sure I refuse to compromise. So that not after I have preached the gospel, at the end I will become what? A castaway. Today, if you want to make a difference in your generation, you must discipline yourself. There are things that you must give up. There are things that you must stay away. It's not everybody that will be your friend. Friendship is not by force. Don't allow people to force themselves into you. you More especially people that have no value to add in your life. People that have come to subtract. People that have come to minus. 
Abaka tu shakata. For bad company corrupts good manner. Erebosia. What the Bible commanded us, it said, just be at peace with everyone. But everybody must not be your friend. Watch it. Anyone that is not adding to your moving forward. Watch the discussion. Watch what they brought to you. Watch what they will always tell you. That is why when you come into a church, it's everywhere. There are people that are there because not all that call Father, Father has come to serve God. There are people that have come to pollute destiny. So that you mind whom you listen to. More especially when you see a member in a church that is talking against the pastor, talking against the ministry, and yet he is there. Go, he will not go. Keep quiet, he will not keep quiet. He is still there, eating from the ministry, and still talking against the ministry. Even going to an extent of sending people away from the ministry. You are a devil. Am I communicating? Is devil using you? Better repent because it's very dangerous. Am I communicating? Shout a better amen. amen. So mind who is your friend. Mind whom you are relating to. So that you will not come and lose your blessings. Anybody that will begin to tell you negative things that will pollute your faith. I love what our evangelist will always say. He said, when you come here, what do you concentrate on? The altar of Jehovah. This is a representative of God. Praise the Lord. It's not that it's the altar we are worshipping. It's the God of this altar. Am I communicating? Yes, sir. Kabaro Shabaragadabasia. Thank you, Jesus. So mind who you relate with. Am I communicating? Praise God. I want to run. I want to run. Now look at the same Daniel chapter 6. Let's go to verse 10. Another thing that will make you make a difference in your generation. Dedication to prayer. Look at verse 10. Look at what the Bible said there. Now when Daniel knew that the writing was signed, he went home. And in his upper room, watch this. He had an upper room. With his windows open towards where? Jerusalem. Still connecting with the covenant that God has with his people in Jerusalem. That was why he opened the window. Towards where? These are spiritual things. He doesn't want to disconnect from the altar and the covenant where he's coming from. Is somebody hearing me? He faced the window. Opened it towards Jerusalem. That is why, may you never disconnect yourself from the altar that blesses you. Don't stay away. Don't look back. Am I communicating? This was what Daniel was practicing. Though he was in the foreign land, but he made sure that he built his house and opened the window towards where? Towards Jerusalem. Linking himself to the covenant promise of God with their father, Abraham. The Bible says, watch this. Bring back the scripture. He knelt down on his knees three times that day and prayed and gave thanks before his womb, before his God. Now watch this, everyone. Let's read this together. As was his custom since early days. He didn't start it in Babylon. He started it in his early days. Early days. Can I tell you, though you may not see it in the scripture, I believe it's Daniel that David learned from. Praying how many times in a day? Three times and praising God. Seven times. He saw Daniel practice it. He queued in. Am I communicating? Shout a better amen. amen. But one thing interesting here is that he started it in his early what? While he was small, he built himself that on a daily basis, he makes sure he goes to the altar of his prayer to commune with God. 
to pray to God. He made sure he kept it. It became a custom in his life, a tradition. That was why, even when he found himself in a strange land, he could not forget what he used to do. Am I communicating? Many of our parents are failing today. The children God has given to you, what are you imparting it today that they will grow up from their young age? Are you hearing me? As a father, as a mother, what are you inculcating into your children that will possibly become a life pattern in their life? Daniel started it in early age to pray. He was a man of prayer. He lived a prayer lifestyle. No wonder, even in the strange land, he stood out. He made a difference. They took him and made him over the head, over governors, over senators. Do you know that after the king, the next person was who? Was Daniel. Because excellent spirit was in him. He was a man of prayer. If there is a man that can pray, there is God that answer. As a member of this ministry, you don't need to struggle with prayer. Prayer should become your lifestyle. And let me tell you, it's, it's not here that you show all that you are a prayer warrior. Because there are people that they can only pray in church, but in their home, they don't pray. Am I communicating? Say a louder amen. amen. So even the way you pray here, that should be the same way you do what? You pray at home. Plant this as a seed in the life of your children to be prayer warriors. Prayer works. Prayer differentiates a man. Prayer will distinguish you. As long as you are praying by faith, somebody say amen. amen. Shall we stand to our feet? I don't want to, I don't want to go more than my father has given to me. <laughs> But let me just conclude with this. If you must make a difference in your time, in your generation, you must be a seeker of God. Second Chronicles chapter 26, verse 5. The Bible talks about Uzziah, who was 16 years and they made him a king. The man, the Bible said, he sought God in these days of Zechariah. But I love what this scripture said there. Look at it. The second part of it. Okay, let's start from the beginning. He sought God in the days of who? Zechariah. Who had understanding in the visions of who? Of God. And as long as he sought the Lord, God made him to prosper. Let's read it again. As long as he sought the Lord, who made him to prosper? That is why it is not you that prosper yourself. The, ma the one that prosper is who? Can I hear you? Is who? That is why when you see a man successful prospering, don't jealous him. God had decided to prosper him. It's better celebrate that grace. Because it's what you celebrate that will come to you. Am I communicating? If you have any opportunity to plant seed, plant seed. Identify with a man that is doing well. Am I communicating? Say amen. 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 Here you see our evangelist, why Jesus remains role model. It's very hard. You see men of his level that still have time for who? For God. Sir, you will continue to prosper. Because God has chosen you to prosper. God is using you to make statements to our generation that the riches can still do what? Serve God. And I pray you and I will connect to that grace. Wave your hands unto God and say, God, I thank you for I still have opportunity to make a difference in my generation. Wave your hands. Begin to talk to God. Begin to talk to God. Begin to talk to God. Remember what I told you. In, in, whether you are old, that is not what counts. Abraham was 75 years. And yet, he made a difference in his time. Yet, he answered the call of God. Yet, he served God and became the father of faith. 
Say, Lord, I am available. Use me to make a difference in my generation. In the name of Jesus. Say, oh Lord, my Father, make me a value adder. I want to add value wherever I found myself. Whatever I do, open your mouth and pray that prayer. Can I hear you pray? Can I hear you pray? Shakata. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Can you shout a louder amen? We are going to plead the blood of Jesus at least 100 times. At the end, I want you to pray a radical prayer. Do you know, the devil understands this, that what will make a difference in your life eh, is the value you carry and the value you can offer. That is why he fights the potential you have. He fights the value in you. He makes sure that you are covered, that you, are, you, you will not express what God has put inside of you. But we are going to pray. Every manipulation of the enemy, every attack of the enemy against your glory, your value, to make sure that you don't manifest, you will use the blood of Jesus and scatter them. Are you ready to pray that prayer? After pleading the blood, enter into that prayer. Scatter whatever that wants to stop your value from manifesting in the name of Jesus. Say in the mighty name of Jesus. As I plead the blood of Jesus Christ, I, blood of I, command, I command, let the blood of Jesus destroy blood of Jesus. every works of darkness works of, of, darkness the enemy, of the enemy to cover my value, cover my to value, cover my star, cover my to stop me cover from shining, shining, from manifesting. Manifest. As I plead the blood, plead the, the blood, blood of Jesus, locate every devices of the crafty, every enterprise of the enemy to stop me from manifesting. The blood of Jesus, locate and destroy them now. The blood of Jesus wants to go. The blood of Jesus Christ. 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 Lift your voice. The blood of Jesus. Close your eyes. The blood of Jesus Christ. Shout the blood. The blood of Jesus. Let's go. The blood of Jesus. 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 Johnny Blow, of 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 Johnny Blow,
I want you to take a strong seed. You will conclude that prayer at the altar. Take a strong seed in your hand as you pray that prayer. I must manifest. I must make a difference in my generation. I must make impact. There is space for me. I must occupy my space and make a difference. Lift your voice and pray that prayer. Kabalaga, with that seed in your hands. Just like the day of Pentecost. Kabalaba lega de de bo ko leke de ba. La baraba gado balaga da da balaga da da. I'm not hearing you. Lift your voice and pray that prayer. Ko pote ke to balaga da ba. It's the day of the Lord. Shakara balaga da da balaga da da. Raka balaga da da balaga da da balaga da da balaga da da. Shakara balaga da da balaga da da. Baya la balaga da da balaga da da. Just like the day of Pentecost. As you're praying that prayer, walk up to the altar and drop that seed. I must make a difference. My children must make a difference. E baka da 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 Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. La paka to bosi kaba. She knows that there is a no me pereo. Kusa za no me pereo. Kusa me kambi ocho no wa. Kusa no wa. Oma chine ke kunye mu me dio. Oma kusa kunye mu me dio. Kusa za no. Jesus, what a man! Sini kwekenti nandi moro kuelutela. Sini kwekenti nandi moro kuelutela. Sini liwele tswanya na la nandi moro kuelutela. Atuzu bini amu, atuzu bini amu, atuzu bini amu, atuzu bini amu. I will please God with my existence. I will please God with my existence. God will not be looking for men when I'm around. God will not be looking for men when I'm available. God will not be looking for Joseph's when I'm around. God will not be looking for Daniel's when I'm around. My life will make impact for Jesus. This my life is for your glory. Alagadosha, elebeke deleke dosh. My life will not disgrace God. Eleke dosh ibaga dalagadosha. I will it's not be irrelevant if I walk with God. Mighty mercy with you. Mandala Gadosh. It's not to be a legatosh. Lebekatosh. My platform will bring glory to it's God. It's not to be a legatosh. It's not to be a legatosh. Lebekatosh. My platform will bring glory to Jesus. It's for your glory. It's for your glory. It's for your glory. I will bring glory to Jesus. This my life is for your glory. It's for your glory. When men are looking for Daniel's in my time, the 
Father, we come. This my life is to your glory. In the name of Jesus, if you've made that declaration, if you've made that prayer, I pray that your life from this day will make impact for Jesus. Like Daniel, you will be relevant. You will be relevant. You will be relevant. You will be relevant. Will be relevant. Ordinary people don't go to the palace. Ordinary men don't go to the palace. If your aim is the palace, then you must be like Daniel. If your aim is the palace, then you must be like Daniel. I pray for you. That's... If you have made this prayer that from today, the Lord will begin to pattern your steps into the place of excellence. You will begin to walk in excellence. For it's only excellence that will give you access to the palace. I want us to pray. Say after me, my father, my father. My father, my father. Every activities of the wicked. Every activity of the wicked. Every scheme of the enemy. Every scheme of the enemy. Anywhere they have come together. Anywhere they have come together. You better open your mouth and pray. Anywhere they have come together. Anywhere they have come together. Against my life and family. Against my life and family. Against my ministry. Against my ministry. According to Job 5.12. According to Job 5.12. Oh Lord, frustrate them. Oh Lord, frustrate them. Open your mouth and pray. Frustrate them. Every counsel of the wicked. Every coming together against me. Against your family. Against your ministry. Against your home. Oh God, frustrate their counsels. Arise, oh God. Let your skins be turned upside down. Arise, oh God. Let my enemies be scattered. Arise, oh God. Let my enemies be scattered. There's a grace that I know that cannot fail. Where my grace cannot get to. Maybe because of some certain things, the grace of my father is. Say after me, my father, my father. God knights into the grace of God. Upon Pastor Dr. Damian Uzoro. Upon Pastor Dr. Damian Uzoro. Say it. Connecting to the grace of God. Connecting to the grace of God. Upon Pastor Dr. Damian Usoro. 
from Pastor Dr. Damian Uzoro. Any man or woman, any man or woman that has gathered together, that has gathered together, and they are speaking one language, and they are speaking one language, just to bring me down, just to bring me down. Today, today, see when you start praying, clap your hands. That's right. Today, today, let your language scatter. Let your language scatter. Scatter. We want to see the end, but I burn them upside down. We want to see the end. Scatter in the name of Jesus. We want to see the end, but I burn them upside down. In your place of work, in my place of work, in the ministry, in the name of Jesus. Anywhere they came together, anywhere they came together. Meetings of evil prophets, meetings of evil prophets. Say it again, say it again. Meetings of occultic men, meetings of occultic men. Hiding under grace, hiding under grace. God looked at men from above and he said these people have come together to build the tower of Babel he said their minds are united there is nothing I can do and God said he told the trinity come let's go scatter their language that's right They may be five and six. They may be oil and tomatoes. They may be whatever, whatever. But this afternoon, hiding under disgrace, anyone that has come together to scatter your existence, to scatter your life, to scatter your health, to scatter your business, let your language scatter. Holy Ghost go to war. 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 Go to war.
of war, angels 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 of war, clap your hands, clap your hands, as you clap, the angels will scatter there, as you clap, holy ghost will scatter there, fire of God, fire of God, fire of God, we are going to war, 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 go back again, go back again, we are going to war, we are going to war, we are going to war, my father, my father, my father, my father. You know what I'm telling you to connect to grace because your grace may not be able to break some certain That's level. Right. But right. when you connect to an altar in a human form, it goes far. So tell me, my father, my father, my father, my father, connect it to the grace of God, connect it to the grace of God. Upon Pastor Dr. Damian Uzoro, upon Pastor Dr. Damian Uzoro. Any wall that has been raised. Any wall that has been raised. Jesus. I heard in my spirit walls will be pulled down now. Ah. Any walls that has been raised. Any walls that have been raised. By the witchcraft. By the witchcraft. Whosoever. Whosoever. That has built a wall. That has built a wall. That I can never break through. That I can never break through. That no matter my prayers. That no matter my prayers. Take this prayer very serious. Position yourself now. Something is going to scatter now. Something is going to come down now. Some things will be rearranged for your good. Some things will scatter and rearrange for your good. This may be the last prayer point. Take it serious. My father, my father. My father, my father. Any man that I've said. Any man that I've said. That I can never break forth. That I can never break forth. Any wall that they have raised. Any wall that they have raised. Any wall that has been erected. Any wall that has been erected. Like the walls of Jericho. Like the walls of Jericho. That no matter my prayers. That no matter my prayers. That no matter my seed. That no matter my seed. That no matter my fasting. That no matter my fasting. That I cannot break through. That I cannot break through. We join ourselves. We join ourselves. With all the angels of the living God. With all the angels of the living God. On this altar. On this altar. At this prayer time. At this prayer time. No time. At this prayer time. At this prayer time. Connecting to the God of Pastor Damien. Connecting to the God of Pastor Damien. No matter what they used to raise that no wall. No matter what they used to raise that wall. No matter the blood sacrifice. No matter the blood sacrifice. No matter the utterances. No matter their utterances. That I can never break it. That I can never break through. That my business can never break that it. That my business can never break through. That I can never conceive. That I can never conceive. That I can never see far. That I can never see far. Wherever they are. Wherever they are. No matter the walls. No matter the walls. This hour. This hour. This hour. This hour. As we begin to clap our hands. As we begin to clap our hands. As we begin to pray. As we begin to pray. Let the walls crash. Let the walls crash. By the blood of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus. Let the walls crash. Let the wall crash. 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 In Jesus' name. Crash. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Crash. In Jesus' name. Crash. In the name of Jesus. Crash. By fire. Crash. New walls. Crash. Of limitation. Crash. New walls. Crash. Of poverty. Crash. We are crash. Crash. By fire. Crash. New walls. Crash. Of shame. Crash. New walls. Crash. Of disgrace. Crash. We are crash. crash. In my life. Crash. In your life. Crash. In our life. Crash. Every wall. Crash. Of barrenness. Crash. Every wall. Crash. Of barrenness. Crash. Every wall. Crash. Of barrenness. Crash. Every wall. Crash. Of blindness. Crash. Spiritual. Crash. Blindness. Crash. Every wall of 
party Rise by fire By thunder By fire By thunder By fire Every war of limitation Every war of limitation Crash Crash Come down Be Buddha 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 By the blood Be Buddha Oh yeah Oh yeah Every war of limitation Against my glory Against my people Against your glory Against your lifting Against your announcement Every war of Jericho In form of war of Jericho Against your life Against my life In the name of Jesus In the name of Jesus In the name of Jesus Go back again Go back again Go back again Go back again Go back again, Go back again. Your hands are weapon of warfare Your hands are weapon of warfare Or war, 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 poverty, poverty, barrenness, blindness, sickness, failure, kidney disease, anything and everything from the enemy against your life as a war, every war against your health, come down, come down, by fire, by thunder, by fire, yes, louder, louder, last. Jesus. Take this one before I declare. Self tell me, my father, my father. My father, my father. Anyone, anyone, a group of persons, a group of persons that has surrounded me, that has surrounded me spiritually and physically. Spiritually and physically. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Anyone, anyone, a group of persons, a group of persons that has surrounded me, that have surrounded me spiritually and physically, spiritually and physically, and their aim, and their aim is to spoil things, is to spoil things in the spirits, in the spirits. Do you know there are some people that will surround you, no matter your prayers, they will be spoiling it. As you are praying, they know where to go and touch and spoil. They know where to go and touch and spoil. You are good, but they are spoiling. You are good, but they are spoiling. They may be in your business. They may be in your field. They may be in your career. I don't know this. I don't know this. Tell me, my father, my father. My father, my father. Anyone that has surrounded me. Anyone that is surrounding me. Whether spiritual or physical. Whether spiritual or physical. And they are giving me a way. And they are giving me a way. So attacks from the kingdom of darkness. From attacks from the kingdom of darkness. They are opening doors. They are opening doors. For witchcraft to attack me. For witchcraft to attack me. They are opening doors. They are opening doors. For powers of my foundation to attack for me. For powers of my foundation to attack As me. As I begin to plead the blood. As I begin to plead the blood. Wherever they are now, wherever they are now, the blood of Jesus Christ, look at them and destroy them. The blood of Jesus Christ, look at them and destroy them. Use your hands. The blood of Jesus Christ, look at them and destroy them. Louder, louder, 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 look at them and destroy them. Louder,
any man or woman that took the cup of water, your cup of water may be different. They took your cup of water. This is revelation. They took your cup of water. The cup of water you are supposed to drink and it will be good in your body that God gave to you. They took it out by manipulations in the name of Jesus. Very soon it will be three o'clock. It's a prayer watch time. Father, in the name of Jesus, wherever they are, wherever they may be, hiding under disgrace, I decree and declare, let them begin to choke and die. Amen. Amen. Some of you, they have taken your cup of water every time God gave you your own. They've taken it up to seven times and you want to allow them. You may not like this prayer point, but for some people, I decree and declare enough is enough. Yes. Wherever they are, all oh, heaven, all oh, heaven, all oh, yeah. oh, earth, all oh, earth, yeah. rise up and attack them. Oh, man. to you that is close to me and I put on the garment of a sheep but they are devil incarnates they are in your business they are in your school they are in your place of work they are in your ministry unfortunately because you could not see them on time some of them are very close some of them are your advisors in the name of Jesus you say what should we write them I write them Barry. Amen 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 Today, let every of their manipulation on you and I, let it be broken now. Be broken. 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 Break. Break. Yes. Break. 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 Some of you, you hate the manipulation. Yeah. That is why it's working every day. Yeah. Each time you want to pray, yeah. but it's as if you are still finding yourself yeah. doing that evil they want you to do. In the name of Jesus, as many of you, that the manipulation on you is what you hate. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, two hours from now, two hours from now, you will begin to vomit it. You will begin to vomit it. You will begin to shit it out. You will begin to vomit it. I declare you free. I declare you free. Every of their garments on you that they've used to cover you. Today, we set them on fire. I declare you're free. Amen. 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 I declare I'm free. Amen. I declare we are free. We are free. Amen. I declare we are free. Amen. I declare we are free. Amen. I declare you are restored. 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 Amen. Collect back what they took. Take back what they took. I collect them back. Collect it back. I take them back. Collect your babies. I collect them back. Collect your money. I collect them back. Collect your glory. I call it the man. Let your ministry. I call it the man. Don't let it burn. Amen. Anyone that trouble you. So from this afternoon, let heaven trouble them. Amen. Let earth trouble them. Amen. And let the God on this altar trouble them. Amen. In the name of Jesus.